Okay, so today we're gonna make this super cute milk box from Mini, and it's super easy. Um, this is Danny for Danny Tutorials. I know this has been a while, but um, I'm going to show you guys how to make this cute party uh, gift or, you know, party favor, gift card holder, or just something that you can send to school or to give to your friends. And it's super easy. You're just going to need a, one a photo paper and this template so we can do it as you can see of course you can use any cutting machine but i wanted to show you guys then you don't really need a cutting machine to do that you can totally cut it it's not really hard or full of details it's basically the outside and the window so it's pretty easy in this video if you're watching to the end and hang there with me you're gonna see a little promo code for my um etsy store where you can find this template and this is gonna give you a pretty much a really cool um discount so you just go in there print it and use photo paper and then you can just um print in a normal um eight and a half by eleven um you know size photo paper and then you we're going to have your box if you want to make like a centerpiece or something bigger just print in a bigger paper you can do that as well as you can see for, for now i'm just cutting around and now with the zecto knife i'm just cutting that little window where i want to make the shadow box in the shadow box you can put a name of the child you can put it like glitter you can put so much things i'm making with a little bit of glitter and the mini mouse inside because i thought it was cute but i will bring more you know set more types more teams and things like that for the boxes so if you have any of them that you want to see or you want a template or you're looking for something just leave a comment down below so i'm using the silicone um it's a poster board glue i found it at the dollar store and it's awesome because it glues everything and a little bit of the acetate um clear plastic if you don't want to buy just save from your pasta boxes that works just well this little piece of paper you are also going to have on your template is just how to make the little back of your shadow box so i like to mark where i need to fold it as well as you can see again i'm not using any cutter machine because you can ask your cutter machine to make those folds for you too but i want to show that you don't need to go crazy and go buy a cricket a silhouette whatever you want to do to make that so you can just use whatever you have home a normal printer or even if you don't have a photo printer you just go you know office depot staples things like that and you can print that in a photo paper and just make it at home you don't need to have all those crazy tools and then i'm using um any ruler to make those bends to mark you know and so you don't need any crazy things and that's what the fun part is it's not going to save you money to make your box if you need to buy a hundred million types of tools you know so that's what i want to do here on my channel show you guys then you can make it and then you don't need a lot of things and I'm also bringing something for Christmas then it's a super cute box because I know that everybody needs to give, you know, teachers gifts and friends gifts and then cheer friends gifts and all that crazy. Um, I have four kids and then we need to give all those um, teachers and friends and things. So it's better make it at home. So it's kind of like this little box, but it's going to be in the Christmas spirit. What do you guys think? You want to see it? Just let me know down below what you think and if you're, you know, planning your kid's party or things like that, that's a special one. So we just cut it and glue it the size of that mold Then you're going to see on the template. That's the back of the shadow box. And again, I'm showing without any cutting machine that you can print all the images then it's gonna also have a new template and you just cut it by hand doesn't need to be perfect because you have the white background anyway on the back so you're not gonna see it but you don't need to be worried on not having a cutting machine and not making it how about that is it cool i remember watching some videos on youtube and be so scared that i didn't want to do it because i didn't have all that stuff you know and then if you just want to make for one party in once in a while you don't need to have all that stuck in your house 
so I'm using a double tape adhesive is those little blocks of squares um, you can find it in any you know craft store or supermarket Walmart Michaels whatever that is and I just want to make the mini be in a little 3g um, space so as uh, she's not flat on the bottom of that uh, shadow box so it's gonna let the glitter go behind her in front of her and give a little bit of more of an impression that you have that deep really shadow box and we're gonna glue it there so you can use any shiny glitter any shiny <laughs> pearls little details stars whatever you have home that matches I'm using some little red stars, some red glitter, and then we're gonna shake it around and we're gonna put it in the back. So I'm using that same um, glue uh, from foam board and we're gonna go all around and then glue in the back. And this is the little heart that is gonna show up from here to the end of the video with that special code for, the, for my Etsy store. Um, now um, I know that Denny Tutorials here is my channel and you're gonna see craft Kiki Crafts. Kiki Crafts is my daughter's Etsy store. She wanted to have a special Etsy store so we're teaming up and I will make the videos and she is gonna do the store and trust me she is nine and she loves crafts and she wants to make everything. So that's why you think Kiki Crafts here but it's just where you can find all the materials, all the templates, you know all those things so i'm just gonna cut it right there you're gonna see all the markings on that template as well and we're gonna just fold at the top of the box it's not hard guys i know it looks a lot but it's just like folding the top and the bottom and making the folds in the middle okay it's not like complicated watching the video might be but it's not and then again you don't need any special tools or cutting machines so I just like to fold every single part first and I, I also let it that shadow box dry a little bit because you don't want to move this around when it's not glue and then glitter everywhere. I'm using double tape just to close the box because I think it's easier and I don't need to wait the glue to settle and then we're just gonna be sure that this is all lined up so we have that little white uh yellow stripe and then we be sure then it's tied it up to the other side and on the sides i like to just fold it and i like a triangle shape to help to close the box and then if you cutting uh on your cricket or on your silhouette normally they are already gonna make those marks but if you're cutting by hand you just fold it like that and you're gonna be able to close it very easy and this is the other top part you're gonna hold it together you can glue it double tape it right there but i'm gonna show you a trick i just make it two you know punches right there on my paper puncher to make two holes and we're gonna close with a little ribbon because it looks better it looks cuter and you can make the mini um on the sides of the box be 3g the same way that we made in the window you can cut another extra one and use the banana tape you know the double thick side tape and make it have that 3g effect but since i have the window inside already i was not worried about making anything any more special on the sides but for some of the teams mermaids and things like that i do and here we go guys this is that our really special etsy um coupon code so you go there and use that so you can get a really cool discount for this template so i'm just using a little tag to put it in the middle of my ribbon and we're gonna close the box just like that you can put chocolate you can put gifts um crayons markers stickers um a little cookie you know oreos and so much more and such a pretty cute um good impression gift because it is true the wrapping of the gift is as important as the gift so and then you can put the name you can put a number two if it's a party you can put a merry christmas happy birthday whatever you want and it's done how cute is this and how easy it is so don't forget to check it out the promo leave a comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss any other tutorials that is coming and a lot of cool things are coming guys thank you so much for watching and for the patience as always and i talk to you guys soon bye